This is a ray of light. If we zoom in enough, we will see the same oscillation of the electric and magnetic field of the previous episodes. In this way, we have a clear picture of what a wavelength is. It's the distance between two peaks of a wave. Macroscopically, we can understand the wavelength thanks to the color of the ray. If the wavelength is a short, around 400 nanometer, we see a blue-purple color. If it is near 500 nanometer, we see a green light that becomes yellow, orange and then red if the wavelength is increased even more. All the oscillations outside this range are invisible to our eyes. In today's episode, I am focusing the attention on two important optical objects, a mirror and a transparent material. Let's start from the mirror one. The mirror in general is formed by a thin layer of metal that completely reflects light. The reflection law is very simple. The reflected angle, with respect to the normal of the mirror, is the same as the incident angle. I can move the source, I can move the mirror, I can rotate it, but this law remains valid. Mirrors are particularly useful to change the direction of propagation without losses. Let's pass to the transparent material. I usually refer to transparent material as the one that do not absorb light in the visible spectrum. When the light goes inside such a medium, it is altered. The direction of propagation of the light changes accordingly to the Snell's law. The sine of the new angle, in respect to the normal of the material, times a particular property of the material called the refractive index, must be equal to the sine of the previous angle, multiplied by the previous refractive index. In vacuum, this property, this refractive index, is equal to 1. In air, the value is close to 1, 2. In the glass instead, the value changes to 1.5, creating this anomalous behavior. It bends light. When the light arrives at the end of the medium, the reverse law must be applied and the ray return parallels to the initial one. This is not the end of the story. Have you ever seen a prism? Why a prism creates a rainbow? The ingredients of the answer are already present. A prism is a transparent material whose refractive index changes with different wavelengths or colors. The full mathematical description is a mess, but uh, essentially it's like that uh, the red ray sees a refractive index value equal to 1.51 or something like that, and the blue wavelength a smaller value like uh, 1.49. This creates a different bending for the different rays that we call a rainbow. for the mode code lovers. To create the rays, I use a lot of particles that are constantly generated from the source. They travel in a certain direction until they meet a mirror or a prism. If they meet a mirror, the new angle is simply twice the rotation of the mirror object minus the previous one. Instead, if they meet a prism, the angle is just the code translation of the Snell's law. I think that some optimization can be done. As always, nature surpasses my imagination.